Senators debated the value-added tax bill for the exemption of an increase from $200 to $300 on Bahamas power and light electricity bills. Senators hope that the exemption will bring some relief to Bahamians who claim that their bills have risen exorbitantly. LaDawn Davis has the story. Consumers with electricity bills $300 and lower will be exempted from the 12% value added tax until July 1, 2019. Government leader in the Senate, Attorney General Senator the Honorable Carl Bethel, says it's some much needed relief for consumers who are plagued with the issue of the high cost of crude oil, which has resulted in a 60% hike in their monthly electricity bills. Senator Bethel urged Bahim to take full advantage of alternative energy sources. We as a people, need to design tax exemptions, tax structures, and support mechanisms in such a way that we can make the use of solar or wind or alternative renewable energy resources more easily available. Government Senator Jamal Moss referenced an article in a local daily back in December 2016 which stated that some 12,000 BPL consumers were disconnected and left in the dark under the former administration. However, opposition Senator Michael Jarville called the claims misleading. Well, if I recall, back in 2016, after they slapped the bat on the average Bahamian people with no types of relief in place or in sight, the same bunch had over 12,000 Bahamians living in darkness, all because you intentionally failed to give the Bahamian people the much needed relief they needed to keep their lights on. Under the former administration, 12,000 Bahamians were in darkness as compared to the 5,000 individuals or residents in darkness at this time. That figure is bogus, it don't exist. And until he could find evidence of the 12,000 people left in darkness by the Progressive Liberal Party, he should bring it to this place. Senator Darville also noted that a compassionate, caring government would sit with BPL officials to get the more than 5,000 Bohemians who are currently disconnected back on the grid. He says the hike in electricity bills has also placed a financial strain on small and medium-sized businesses and direct foreign investment. What you intend to do as a business person to try to survive is to try to shrink whatever potential shrinkage you can do in order to survive. So the high cost of energy affects labor. And you're beginning to see some of the side effects of it, how important energy is, because we see the uproar of the labor movement now. This is all interconnected. While supporting the relief the bill would bring to BPL consumers, PLP Senator Joe Beth Colby Davis says the government has failed to show the Bahamian people their energy reform plan they promised. They have stopped, reviewed, and canceled the reform process left by the PLP and ridden themselves at BPL of persons who had the institutional knowledge, not only of BC, but knowledge about the reform process and now BPL seems to be in a state of utter chaos. The Senate has been suspended until December 10th at 10 a.m. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.